Action Jackson says, the FBI arrested leader of an armed group that is stopping immigrants after they cross the U.S.-Mexico border into New Mexicans. Do civilians have a right to patrol the border, only the Fed border patrol? I mean, you don't have a right to walk around with a gun and point that gun at somebody who is not threatening you, who is not threatening you and is not committing a violent crime. So you're not doing it as an act of self-defense. So you don't have a right to point a gun at, at people who are not committing a crime. So, I mean, this is vigilantism, but he has vigilantism against people who are not even committing a violent crime. So I've almost no sympathy for it. Now, if it's your land, if it's your land, if you own the land, and you've got a sign out, no trespasses, and you're patrolling your land on the border, then fine. Then it's your property. You're defending your property against people who are violating your rights by violating, by entering your property without permission. But if it's not your property, and it's not your friend's property who invited you to be on their property, if it's not private property, then no, you, you can't go into the public space with a gun and point it at people because they're doing things that you think objectionable. Right? I mean, it's, it's, I don't think even a shoplifter, would you point a gun at a shoplifter? I mean, I don't think so. I think you point a gun when the issue is, is violence. When the issue is violence. I mean, maybe a shoplifter because it's a violation of property rights. And the, 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 you know, and it, it, but it would depend on the circumstances. To what extent was there a real threat? What were they stealing? Are they stealing a, a bottle of water? Are they stealing, you know, a, a, or are they rob a, robbing a bank, right? So, and, it, you know, Notice that I'm uh, thinking on my feet here, guys, on a lot of these questions. And, and it, 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 just for what it's worth, right? It's not, my answers are not ready-made, right? I don't have a list of the answers to all questions. Objectivism doesn't work that way. You have to work through the answers. So hopefully it's valuable to you to see me try to work through these. Um, so I don't think crossing the border is... It's not a violent crime. It's not a, it's not a property crime. You're not, you're not entering somebody's property and theoretically a threat. You're not stealing anything from anybody. I mean, fine if you want to patrol the border and call the national, call, call the, the border patrol if you see somebody crossing the border. That's absolutely within your right and fine and no problem. Um, but to point a gun, that is, that is uh, mob rule, uh, and abso absolutely somebody like that should be arrested. Absolutely. Right? We don't run the country with, um, what do you call it, by gang rule. We don't run the country by vigilantes. We don't run the country with uh, militias. Militias don't run the United States of America. I mean, again, unless you're willing to declare, to declare civil war. You know, America, I mean, to say America is ethnically homogeneous in the 1960s is ridiculous. The Poles hated the Irish, and the hated, Irish hated the, the Italians. I mean, Italians were scum, and they started mafias, and they had dark skin. Nobody liked them, not to mention the Greeks. Yeah, I mean, what makes, what makes you white? I mean, there's no whiteness. There's no such thing. It's bullshit. The whole thing is bullshit. Well, just one question. Like, if, if you ask a Korean, are you Korean, you say... Well, but that's bullshit. I mean, with all due respect to Koreans, if you look at your genome, those of you are Koreans, and you look at the Japanese genome, and you look at the Chinese genome, the differences are non-existent. No, but, 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 but you think, you think I wouldn't be Asian, but it turns out that I am. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. So I did 23andMe. 23andMe is you, you spit into a test tube and they, they run, you do your genome for you, right? And they, they give you the diseases you're susceptible to. But one of the things that they do is they tell you where your ancestors lived 800 years ago. 
So where this snippet of genes from your DNA was 800 years ago, where does it originate from? And it turns out that on my father's side, my genome originates from northern Siberia, right, Asia, A, eh? and that I have more in common from that perspective with American Indians than I do with Europeans. That's my genes, right? So the whole whiteness thing is complete and utter nonsense. It's nonsense. Yes, but the fact, again, the statistics show, and uh, you know, we could debate statistics all day long, that uh, most immigrants, an overwhelming majority of immigrants, including illegal immigrants into the United States, do not consume more welfare than they actually pay in, uh, into the system. But, but you're right. I mean, let's do away with welfare. I'm all for doing away with welfare. And, and I'm not proposing tomorrow to open up borders. But, the, but what I'm proposing that every country in the world should think about and do is increase the number of immigrants into those countries. Certainly the United States needs immigrants. And the way I would increase immigration is if you can find a job, you should be allowed in. Give them five-year visas and renewable. They don't have to become citizens. You don't have to give them citizens. Give people five-year visas to come to work. And every country should do that. And Japan should do that. And Korea should do that because that's necessary for economic growth and it's necessary for economic prosperity but it's also a right people have a right to I have a right to employ whoever I want to employ and if I want to employ a bunch of Mexicans it's none of your business and if I want to employ a bunch of you know green head people it's none of your business a bunch of people with IQs below 90 it's none of your business as long as they're not a physical threat to you then it's none of your business who I employ so it's an issue of individual rights. So do we tomorrow eliminate borders? No, of course not. But do we make it much easier for people to cross borders in order to work, in order to be productive? Absolutely. And the whole world needs that.